Hello, welcome to this short video tutorial in which I'm going to be using NetMiko to connect to a Cisco router using SSH uh, from within Python. So I've just started to learn Python and going to be making videos of my journey. So hopefully this will help someone along the way. So if you want to use NetMiko, which is one of the standard ways to SSH to Cisco devices from within Python. Uh, this should show you the basics of how to do it. So I'm sat currently on my Ubuntu machine and what we need to do is first of all make sure that we have NetMiko installed on the box. So that's just as simple as a, a pip3 install minus u NetMiko. That will install all the required packages that we need. So I've now got NetMiko installed. And um, what I'm going to do is utilize the interpreter to start off with, just so you can see exactly how this works. Then we're going to write a small script. So first of all, we need to import NetMiko in. And then once NetMiko is imported, we can actually see what options we have available to us with this command. And these are all the options that we can use with NetMiko to connect to devices. Now the ones we are mainly interested in is this one, the connect handler. And that's going to be what we use to be able to connect to my Cisco device. And what I've got is a Cisco CSR1000V, and that is here. And just to show the case, show IP. So show IP interface brief. So this one is 192.168.1.210. So that is the router that I'm going to be using NetMiko to connect to. So first we need to do is make a connection. So we use that by typing connection equals NetMiko. And then we're going to use the connect handler. And then we need to define a few bits of information. The first one being the IP address of the device. So 192.168.1.210. Then the device type, uh, which in this case is Cisco iOS, then the username that I want to use, and then finally the password. Okay, so now I hit enter, that will give me a connection to the Cisco router. Now if I just type connection, you can see I do have a connection established here. And now what we're going to do is let's just see what options I've got here. All of these options. So if you just type DIR brackets connection, you can see I have tons of options that I can use. And the one we are going to use is do 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 send config. No, send command today. Uh, that one is send command here. So this is the module we're going to be using the send command so we are already connected so we type connection dot send command and then the Cisco command that we want to send to the router which is show IP interface brief now that has sent back the data which is fine but it's uh, a bit messy and as you can see, it's got the line breaks in here, but the output doesn't take note of those. So the way to get around that is just to wrap this in a print statement. So then within the print statement, print, that will take note of those line breaks and it should make this a bit prettier.
which it does. So that's the output from the router that we're going to use. Now, we're going to go in and put all this information into a proper script. So let's go over to my coder. But before we do that, we must close this connection. Connection with a connection disconnect. So that breaks that connection to the router. That's just a Python best practice. And we're going to hop over now into my code editor. And I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is a great free tool from Microsoft. I used to use Atom, but I've moved over to Visual Studio Code now. And we're going to call this one uh, command.py. So, this is going to be a Python script using NetMeco to run commands on IOS router. So, same again, import NetMeco. And then I need to set up that connection. So, connection equals netmeco dot connect handler then the IP of my device 192.168.1.210 the device type which is Cisco IOS We want the username. I'm just going to bring that down here to make it a little bit easier to read. Username is Roger. And the password is my super secret Cisco. Okay, so that's going to do the connection. And then we want to do our print statement again. So this one is going to say connection.send command and I'm going to do show IP interface brief and remember that we have to that will run that command, but it won't actually print anything to the screen. I need to wrap that. In brackets as well. And then to finish this off, we will connect connection dot disconnect so we're going to run this command now now the beauty of visual studio code is you can actually uh, run run the, the command directly from here if you just right click on this one oh, i'm just going to get rid of that space there okay so we can right click on this file and run this Python file in the terminal so it actually shows up here. Just a nice little feature. And there's the show IP interface brief. And we've disconnected. And we don't have to run it within Visual Studio Code. I can run it here. So let's exit from the interpreter. I'm still in the same folder. So an LS shows you my files. And if I just run Python 3 command.py this will run the show IP interface brief and print it to the screen same as before and then we disconnect so there is a very simple use case just to get you started just to get NetMeco up and running so the first step in the journey with NetMeco and Python is to just get this operating be able to connect to one device and in the next videos we will be scaling this out to many devices and doing a lot more with the configuration. 
Um, if you like these videos and you want to see more, uh, then please do hit that subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.